Cookie, did, was that intentionally a pun? I feel like that was intentional. It's really hard to tell. Because that one was actually like halfway smooth. That, that, flows, that flows halfway decently. As opposed to your normal jokes. I'll leave it to your imagination. Great. Um, so apparently, I actually left this for like right at the end of the chapter last time. A slip of paper is beneath the clothing. So here's the story that we read last time about the bird and the boxes. You cannot hear the game. You can't hear the game, can you? <laughs> the audio source for PCSX2 was still Piglet's big game. There we go. That should do it. The Bird of Happiness. Once, a girl found a big box. The Bird of Happiness was inside. The bird would take her to Foreverland, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The end. Great story. The moral. Everlasting happiness is a joke. That's a very... Presented in this context, it works. But I think if you presented this in the context of Tulip, it would equally work. This is something that Yamada from Tulip would say. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. Oh yeah, we have the bucket knight. And she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. Yeah, the Bucket Knight wanted us to help him remember stuff, right? Everlasting. Great. That, okay. That wasn't the full, okay. That wasn't the full moral of the story, but whatever. It's fine. Look at that. We were right at the end of the chapter. I didn't even know. I didn't even realize. Oh. Don't worry about, hey, I'm gonna, hey, don't worry about that. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that really quick. Hey, hold on, I'm gonna fix that really quick. Don't worry about that. That was nothing. Don't worry about that. Hold on. I can't remember how you turned that off. Hold on. Hold on. There's no OSD. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no. There's no, there's no OSD. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't. That didn't happen. That should have gotten rid of it, right? I think. Windows settings. Yeah. I think that should have done it. Let's do a test really quick. Let's see if that did do it. Thumbs up. Okay. Conti keeping the immersion. Good morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? Hmm, I see. You remember one of them. But that's still not good enough. You're such a silly girl. Okay. Hurry, hurry, read the story, Jennifer. Okay. All right, so this is like... The I guess this is, this is the, now the loop of the game, as we're reading shitty stories from the shitty kid. The GOAT SISTERS! Val's in this game. Oh yeah, we, we saw Val earlier in the game, too. Man, these goats are gonna die, aren't they? <laughs> Little sister wrote a letter, ba ba. Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. Great. But with big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the letter to? 
Baba. Baba is you. Great. Cool story, kid. Excellent story. Who would have figured that the goat would die? Truly, sh truly shocking. Yay, the FMV just works. Look at that. Isn't it great? Fuck. Okay, okay, I'm really frustrated with the PCSX2 devs. If I'm being honest. Because... I was looking through the full... Okay, hold on. When the unlucky girl closed the book, the wise-looking princess was in the room. The princess said softly, Hmm. It's not here, either. If someone else finds it... There must be something very important to you. Why don't you go find it? Okay, I'm gonna pause the game. So, I was looking through the PCSX2 forums, and... Some other people had reported the issue that I was having with Rule of Rose, where the FMVs just would not work unless you put it in software mode. And... The PCSX2 devs said that they had actively removed it from modern builds of the game. Or modern builds of PCSX2. Because that's a hack, and that's not in line with the current trajectory and goal of PCSX2. And that's really annoying, because I think the goal of PCSX2 should be to seamlessly emulate PlayStation 2 video games. Which PCSX2 is currently failing to do because it does not seamlessly emulate Rule of Rose. Because you need to switch it to software mode, which is a really, a very, like, hardware-intensive way to render the video game. It takes a lot of fucking CPU to fucking play a game in software mode. And the idea that they actively removed this hack instead of just implementing it into PCSX2, which they did with this build, is fucking absurd. Play, yeah, be, PCSX2 being able to seamlessly play FMVs is a hack, therefore it's not, oh, we're not, uh, creating an authentic PS2 experience. Shut the fuck up! It's the dumbest justification I've ever fucking heard. It's so- it's Jenny- it's so stupid. Jennifer found Meg's pencil. Great. The name Meg is written on the pencil. Cool. We, we're in a different room. There's a strange sack here. Something is rustling around inside it. Yep, and we're not gonna look at it. I'm gonna assume that our weapon is unequipped also. Yeah. Anyway, all I'm gonna say is that the authentic PCSX2 experience should include being able to seamlessly play a video game without direct player input. Oh, we don't need to use that. Oh, okay, I didn't. Okay. I, that's all that's all I'm saying. And I I don't I don't think that's a controversial take. I think that is a take that is normal to have and the PCSX2 devs are high in their own fucking farts. That being said, they are providing this software for free. So, I can't... Where'd you go? I can't really give them too much shit. But I will still give them shit because it's stupid. So, if there are any PCSX2 devs watching... Your goal is stupid, and I don't like it. What are you- did you lose it already? Bro? Go! I 
Where's the crap page? The Red Crayon Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. Great. Go! I mean, that sounds about in line with what we've seen of them so far. I don't know why we had to get that. Oh! That's probably a different thing we can help. We can have... Oh. Hey, kids. I can't find it anywhere. What are you looking for? What's that kid doing? Better not be beating a dead body or something. Does this also help me find- that also helps me find stuff. Yeah, okay. I feel like the game is not running at full FPS. Stray dog list. Stray Dog's Notes. The following are notes on the monster Stray Dog. As described to us by the beautiful Princess of the Rose. He's big, strong, scarred, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current tasks. Stray Dog Investigation 1F Restroom. Gather notes from rumors scribbled on walls. Assigned to Susan. Hmm. Go. Yeah, we've heard we heard this we heard about the stray dog scrawled on the wall of the orphanage, and then I think the the bunny sacrifice was a sacrifice to stray dog or something. Like stray dog seems to be like this like mythical mystical being to them. One F restroom? There aren't floors here. Are there? Snowman? Oh. Thanks, Brown. I don't know what that did, but sure. There's an ice pick in here. I'm gonna stick with the steel pipe. Love letter. Oh, Diana, Diana. I love you with all my heart. Meg. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Oh no! It's the shit kids! What the fuck? You're not a kid. You're you're just straight up like a creature. You're a weird fucked up goat creature, and not in the way that I think the audience of this stream would appreciate. Oh, I can do kicks while he's down, right? Ah! Ugh. Oh, get off me, kid. Whew. Okay. What kind of meat is this? Frozen meat is hanging. Yeah. It sure is. Boy, is it. Okay. So, we have love letter. I can probably drop these. I probably don't need the pencil anymore either. I'm gonna drop the ice pick. I definitely don't need that. We already have it. We already have a pipe, so. The pipe is the only weapon that we actually need. Also, I think we're finishing this game today, by the way. So I looked on how long to beat, and it's only like an eight hour game, and we streamed it for four hours, and we generally tend to come under the average playtime on how long to beat around here. So, I reckon we'll finish this tonight.
Hi, Diana. The strong-willed princess and the cold princess were talking. There's a goat. The unlucky girl listened quietly. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And ripped it in half. Oh. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but I wouldn't even look at it. Ugh. I see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? Um. Hey, that's mean. You're mean. Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Okay. Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need you to go find it. Alright. Why are the games a little bit laggy? Oh, Diana, Di Diana, wherefore art thou? It seems to be a letter meant for Diana, but it is torn and impossible to read. Okay. Yeah, the game's a little bit laggy. Hold on, I'm gonna fix that really quick. We're gonna go here. While I fix that, because I think I know what's causing the issue. Um, yep, that would do it. Let me do that. There. That should do it. Hopefully. That didn't do what I thought it would do. <laughs> Hold on. Why did why did that do that? Hold on, I'm just gonna do this. And turn that on. And that should be fine. Why is that now completely broken? Uh, maybe I have to reset it. Hold on. Hold up. Yeah, that did fix it. Okay. Good. That was silly. Oh, wait. There's an item there. No, it's a little bit laggy. It what? takes a pet, like no problem. Yeah. Right? Not yeah. a pet yeah. at all. That's a great cat right there. I am a great cat. I think I'll do one more. I think I'll do one more thing. I'm just going to check my... See, this is the issue, is that now going to an older version of PCSX2, it's not as seamless an experience. And then if they just had... They just had the FMV hack in the most recent version of PCSX2. This would be a completely seamless experience. It would be so cool. Chapters. The Prince of the Princess. Aristocrat Club Manners. Meg's Invention Corner. Findings of the Land of the Imps. The Prince of the Princess. Aristocrat Manners. Lesson 1. Curtsying. Aristocrat Manners. Lesson 2. Hosting. Words of the Princess of the Red Rose. Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter and will be amply rewarded. Meg's Invention Corner. Torture Chair. Spinning Chair. Torture Bag. Song for an Onion. Onion Bag. Secrets of the Land of Imps, I imagine. Playroom. Following the popularity of airships, the orphanage built several... Something. There, okay. I think we're doing good now. Probably should have done a little bit more testing, but whatever. We ball.
Where are we going, Brown? I like the sound of his little paws. Bop, bop, bop. That's a good dog. Hi. Where could it have gone? Are you looking for your love letter? <laughs> Meg. Brown is adorable and a very good dog. Yeah. He's the, he's the kind of dog that I think people wouldn't generally find to be cute. But I, I like, I like an old dog. Wow! Hey, y'all! What's up? I love a kind of old, crusty dog, you know? I like how I have just defaulted to playing this, like, Resident Evil and Silent Hill. I'm just like, oh yeah, the enemies aren't here. The enemies aren't real. I don't need to worry about them. Wasn't Amanda making a gift for us? I thought she said she was. I'll just stop by Amanda's room at some point. Oh, god damn it. They have scissors! It's a scissor man! Wow, that looks like a demon goat. Bro! Get fucked, idiot. I feel like Val would resent me calling that a demon goat. Because they're kind of lame. Is he scared of the dog? Does Brown scare them? Get fucked, idiot. Ow, stop! Hey! Ow! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, Lollipop actually heals for quite a bit now. Yeah! Get fucked, bitch. Wow, these guys have a lot of health. Goats are tough. You're dead. Yeah, okay. We're so fucking good at video games. I'm gonna eat this Bicky. No, I'm gonna eat this Bicky. Oh, biscuits give like no health back compared to lollipops. No! What are we looking for here, Brown? Are you good? Oh, your leggy is hurted. Go! What are we, what are we here for? So I'm pretty sure that was a chapter's boss. Boas. <laughs> Go! Oh no. Hi, Eleanor. How's your bird? you are. Hi. There you are. What? What do you want? <laughs> I did what you asked.
Why do you have it? Um. <laughs> How could she? How could she do that to me? What did I ever do to her? I can't get along with girls like her. <laughs> <laughs> it's into the onion bag. Into the what? <laughs> I don't want to go in the onion bag. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All of those things are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil mentioned <laughs> These kids suck. <laughs> These kids, these are the shit, these are the shittest kids. What is this sack? That's not the onion bag. What is this? What is the sack? Well, Val, I am beating a lot of shit kids with a metal pipe. So, you know, it's balancing out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. A piece of paper is underneath it. A cookie? I think you've... No, I think Val told me about that once. Val... There was... Val, I think there was... Like, a cryptid or like... An old wives tale monster that you told me about once. Though it was like a whisper. <clears throat> I can't remember I can't remember what that was. Also, Cookie, I can't believe Latin America created uh Dr. Salvador. El Silvan. Yeah, that. That scary shit. That was really cool to learn about. Even true love is quickly shredded by... He whistles, and if you hear him far away, he's actually close to you. Yeah! That's cool! That's really scary! Oh, that's so That's so good. Also, I like how I read Silbon, and I read it as French. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we created Salvador and those guys in Bloodborne that take you to Yahar Yahar Ghoul. That's Yahar yeah, that's true. Uh, what's the end of the story? Because we just read it. Even true love is quickly shredded by conflict. Hmm. That's not a half bad moral, actually. That's probably true. Generally, I think these morals are pretty alright. Oh, is it specifically Venezuela, Val? Everlasting true love. I would I would actually be curious about the history of that, like, myth. Or legend, I guess. Because I wonder if that has a basis in reality. You know, like a lot of urban legends do. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Hmm. I see you remember the second one. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Yeah, I'm gonna read the story, dipshit. I don't really have much else to do in this room. <laughs> Can 
Can we have the candles? It's very dark in here. Mermaid princess? This one sounds fun. So this next chapter has the toughest boss, but with you breeze to the others, I'm interested to see how you do. Huh. Okay. I have kind of breezed through. I mean, the first the first boss is the one that I had the most trouble with. It could be a Colombian thing as well. Maybe Brazil. It's predominant amongst the Neros, which are the people that live in the rural plains of all these countries. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Because, like, if you're in the plains, it's windy, and, like, you would hear a whistle every now and then, right? So it would make sense that an urban legend surrounding that kind of sound would kind of pop up. Huh. That's interesting. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. Oh, it's the little mermaid. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the sea kingdom. Who would ever want to become an ugly woman like her? Wow! Holy shit! Val, the only reason I thought of that is because I also live in planes, and it's very windy here. So I, I just, I just made, I just made the connection that I'm familiar with. I don't know if we have any urban legends surrounding that, though. I feel like Canadians are not generally a very superstitious people. Like, I think at most we have Ogopogo and Bigfoot. But also, it's not as old a culture as, like, South America. The strong old princess was there in the room. And said sourly. I'm sure the, like, actual First Nations people here have a lot of myths. Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Okay, yeah, I do, I do want to offer a slight correction. The white people of Canada aren't a very superstitious people. And I don't know much First Nations people's myths because I'm white. That, that, that is the clarity that I think that deserves. The clarity and nuance that I think that deserves. There's nothing inside. Is that cheese? Oh, that's a good. That's a short. Oh, that's a shortbread. Yeah. It takes a Hi, Charles. Like no problem. Yeah. Right? I no, am right. I know. That's a it's great unfortunate. Right there. Heartbreaking. Your favorite Twitch streamer is white. Good, Charles. Did you work today? I need to hook up my fucking pipe. I haven't been given anything to go off of today. Who's crying? Why are you crying? Hello? Yeah, nice 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. shit. That sucks. Let's find some. Let's see if we can find more of this stuff. Nope. Can we find some Bicky? Go. No? Really? The game is not as. The game is really being pretty stingy with the healing items. Wow, okay. Damn. Oh, you're here. Don't, don't mind my pipe. No way, there's no such thing. It's month's gift, an unmarried mermaid. Huh. Uh... 
An unmarried mermaid. That just looks like a fish. I wonder if it would be worth it to do a hunt for, um... <clears throat> the tradable items. If the game is being a bit stingier with, uh... Healing items this go around. Because if this is if this is like the hardest boss in the game, then we should probably go in like halfway prepared with some actual healing items, right? So I will actually stock like all my 